Hi, my name is Ted and welcome to Magneto. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the tool and show you how to easily create content for any mobile phone. Uh, the first thing you're looking at here is the list of applications page and this is where all the applications that you develop over time will be listed. To the right hand side of that is our virtual phone and it allows you to see how the content is looking on the average mobile phone. Very handy in developing content. Up in the right hand corners of both of these are question mark icons and they lead to screencasts which will give you a lot more information about the features and functions of any section within the application. Uh, some other buttons, the gallery, the contacts and the settings. Uh, we'll concentrate on the gallery button right now. I'm going to click on that and this shows you how you can bring image content into the Magneto product. Uh, you have a section uh, that is called My Images and that's where all the content that you bring into the application uh, will be listed. You can also uh, use the drop down menu to take a look at any of the uh, uh, archive images that we have in the product and there's hundreds to choose from and uh, basically you just select them as you uh, want to view them and then bring them into the applications. But if we go back to the My Images directory, I'll show you how easy it is to bring in content. You click on Browse. It opens up your computer. It allows you to pull in a uh, file. Uh, once you found the uh, image that you're looking for, uh, you simply just click on the image and it will load. And it's that simple. And now you've got that uh, for your use later on when you're producing uh, your applications. Uh, the next button to click on is the uh, Contacts and in here is where you're going to have all the mobile numbers and email addresses of the people that you want to distribute your content to once you've created it. And I'll show you more about that when we've actually created something and speaking of that why don't we do that right now. So if I go into applications you'll see there's a create button. I simply just click on create and then it's going to ask me what I want to name my application. So I'm going to say the boys birthday I'm going to make an application for my boys. Uh, let's go in and choose a template. So now you can choose any of the types of templates, including a blank template if you like. Uh, but let's choose one that's already done. So we'll say, all right, let's go with party. So that looks nice. You can see it in the virtual phone. And I press OK. And now it's going to load that template into the actual uh, page editor. So now we're in the tool itself. And let me just quickly describe this for you. On the left hand side you'll see that the pages directory is listed here. So right now it says where we are. We're in the, we're in the menu section uh, of the pages directory and that's just why we can edit the main menu. Uh, below that of course are the sub pages uh, and they are listed here within our menu and we'll be able to edit those later on as I click on those buttons. So let's go into the main menu items here and make some edits to this. So instead of our party I'm going to call this the boys party because it's for two boys and I'm going to have an itinerary. Yeah, uh, directions good and an RSVP. So those things are already in place so we're ready to go. I'm just going to save that. Uh, I can now uh, keep this image here or I can change the colors of things if I want to change the text color to blue. I can do that if I want to change this uh, background logo image. I can just press logo and I can go to unset. It takes it out and then if I go to logo again and I choose this banner image that I created in Photoshop I can bring that in and if I press save as you can see we've created a main menu already so let's go in now into the boys party section it's already got some text in here I can read the text and see if there's anything in there that I want to keep or of course I can just copy uh, all of that out uh, delete it and type in whatever I want so welcome to our party uh, this is for the boys. If I want I can bring in an image. So let's bring in a picture, maybe two pictures. So I say OK. And if I press Save now, you'll see there's our text. I got the background image and I got the two photos of the birthday boys. So that page is already finished. Uh, for itinerary, I can go in here now and if I want I can say, okay, actually my time is not going to be at 6, it's going to start at 4. We're probably not going to have a ballroom, but we'll probably have something at around 7 o'clock. Uh, just say the pool is open. I can change whatever I want uh, completely or uh, make whatever edits or adjustments that I need to make. 
And uh, again, I'm happy with this page, so we can move on to the next. This one is a directions page. So okay, so in here now, we're going to change this text page into a map page. So let's do that. And I just basically click on page type. I say map. It's going to ask if it's okay to remove the text that's in there. Now it brings in the Google Map Editor that we have. So all I have to do now is type in an address. And if I hit search, it finds the location. I can then zoom in. And if I like the way that looks, I can press save. I can see how it's going to look in the preview window. That looks good. It shows people how they get there. And then if I want, I can also type in some comments down here. Uh, you know, and I've told them that the door, door code entry to get into the building is 4527. And so they have that information now. They have the map and they know how to get to where we're going. The next thing we're going to do is do an RSVP page. So again, I'm going to take this text page that's already in here and we're going to convert this to a form page. So here I'm going to ask a question and I'm going to ask people to give us their uh, email addresses so I know who's coming. So I can choose the number of questions up to eight. Let's just choose one in here for a test and I'm going to say what is your email address? and I'm going to ask the answer format to be in an email that's going to look for that little at sign or a proper email address when people submit. Uh, if somebody doesn't put in an at sign uh, then uh, it's good. they're going to prompt them with a, uh, an error message. So there we go we've created their, our question. I can of course make more questions but we can also style this page now if I want. I can change the text color. I can put in some intro text like please answer questions below and I can also choose whether or not I want numbers I like numbers that's okay let's put in a logo image here I've already made one in Photoshop and if I say save now you see we've made our RSVP page please answer the questions below and I ask them to put in their email address and we're done so very quickly we've created an application with an RSVP with directions with itinerary for the party, with a little background information and some pictures, and a nice uh, menu structure for the whole thing, and we're ready to publish. So if I go now to applications, you'll see that uh, in here we've already now got our application is listed. I've got a preview of what it looks like. I can work the preview phone here and go into any of the sections. Uh, we can uh, also now publish this. So let's go to the publish icon which is this little uh, envelope and if I press publish now it's going to ask me some questions and the first thing it's going to want to know is uh, to list my contacts. So in this particular case I'm going to go to my contacts lists. It goes in and checks who I've got listed. Uh, if I want to add contacts I do so by going into contacts here and put in more people and then come back but in this case we're just going to send one out. I said save and when I go back it's now registered in here. I've got one SMS. It's going to be sent to that one contact. I can make that password protected. I can choose to go with advertising or without, which of course makes the application either cheaper uh, for me to send out SMSs if I go with advertising or a little bit more expensive if I choose to put in my own sponsorship logo. Uh, I can put a short name. Uh, I can check that. I can also put an expiration date. And when I'm ready, I hit publish and this gets sent out to a phone and all in less than 110 minutes. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's, uh, there's a lot to cover. Uh, please use the, uh, the screencasts whenever you get a chance to, uh, to learn more about the features and functions. Uh, I hope you have fun with it and don't be afraid to get creative.